Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another How Fun is video. This is the Kargath Blade Fist fight in Highmall. Now Highmall, you start off in the arena, and the arena is where Kargath Blade Fist basically resides. He's like, that. this is his home. Like, he's gotta be here. He uh, used to be a slave here and all that stuff. You start off with a two... Actually, it looks like... Oh, yeah, it, was that. it was like a boss mob, like a mini boss, and then two ads. And these ads are... Uh, channeling something onto him. Basically, you want to kill the ads first, get rid of them, uh, take down any of the elementals that are summoned. I think two of them get summoned per uh, uh, per mage here or, or or shaman here rather, uh, and then just take them down. Once you've got those taken care of, you can start to move onto the Sabron. Um, best thing to do is just move them all together and group them up, AoE them down. They don't do that much damage, uh, at least on LFR difficulty. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, why are you doing LFR difficulty? I mean, it, it's... Like, you know, it doesn't have all the mechanics, right? Well, it does actually have the mechanics of uh, um, the normal mode and heroic mode. So, nothing's really changed in it. I can still give you a guide over what's going on, and I can tell you the uh, do's and don'ts of the fights. Uh, hit two more of those adds come out, and they are going to summon more of those elementals. You're going to want to do a quick burn on that Saberon as fast as you can. Uh, your DPS will vary. Um, of course, uh, to every raid group, the DPS varies. And uh, that's basically all the setup you're going to need to go into this fight. You just finish off the Saberon after you've dealt with all the adds, and it's pretty easy peasy. So we're going to let that play out, and then we're going to come back at the actual encounter. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the actual Kargath Blade Fist encounter. That trash that you do with the first is kind of bullshit. I mean, it's just like, you gotta sit there and go through all that, like, a lot. So the Kargath Blade Fist uh, fight encounter goes off as follows. Basically, Kargath is going to be tanked by the two tanks uh, in the middle. Around the area, if you see the, depending on your position... Uh, there's like little trap doors. They actually have little like tiger ads in them, so they'll open up periodically. So you're gonna want to make sure you don't stand in those because if you do, you could potentially kill your group. Uh, now here I was having an add-on trouble and I had to actually f solve what was going on. Um, and turns out that uh, I actually left that in there when I shouldn't have. But we're not gonna edit over it because we've already done several edits already. Uh, we're gonna have a look here. Let's see. Um, so basically he'll do an impale on one of the tanks. Now usually, and I, I think in LFR difficulty, he just chooses one of the tanks. Uh, I do believe the only thing different in other difficulties if you, is that you have to uh, have second threat or something. I, I don't know what the whole deal is for that. Um, he'll also do a swipe in front of him. You're going to make sure that you want to you make sure your melee is not in front there. Because you will get cleave damage, and that cleave damage will hurt. Uh, regardless of what difficulty is on, we actually just had a really good group here that knew what they were doing. They didn't stand in shit, and uh, all this stuff was pretty done, pretty well done nicely. Uh, as you can see, the tanks are switching on and off through, for those impales, and um, you've sh I'm sure you've noticed it by now that there's actually uh, pyre skulls um, in the background. They're actually rotating fire damage. Now, Kargath actually takes fire damage from those, so what you want to do is kite Kargath into those fires, and he'll get really angry at the fire and actually just destroy the skull. Uh, for the fire. So you don't have to really worry too much about that one. The other things to look out for is he'll actually choose several members from the raid, chain them, and start throwing them around his head. Uh, I believe you just saw it there a little while ago. I think he does it at least two more times, maybe one more. And um, there's that impale again. Again, it's on the tank that is second in the threat, I believe. So you don't have to worry about that too much. The uh, skull again. There, as you see, the skull's doing fire damage to him. And he actually just destroyed the skull because he was really angry at it. Uh, so that's how you get rid of those. The other thing he'll do here, there's that cleave again. Um, and the only other thing, really, is that chain. 
And then really it's just a DPS race. You're going to want to, like again, avoid stuff on the ground, look out for the Tiger Pits, and really that's all there is to it. So I'm going to let this uh, play out, and you can see the kill. And thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.